Hello everyone, welcome back to the Porcupine. Today we're going to feature some of the amazing bottles produced by Enverdi back in the 1960s and 70s. As usual, all the details are on my website. And we're going to do some very quick demos here. Um, Enverdi used a lot of extra props and chemicals for a number of his liquid effects. I'm not going to use any extra chemicals or um, extra props, so this is just the basic things you could do. Uh, I am using some food coloring and as you can tell by my hands, food coloring is a pain on a good day, liquids are a pain on a good day. So I'm not sure how far I'll get, but I'm going to do my very best. We have four main bottles here, there's actually five bottles, but four main types. We have the long neck bottle, the turnover bottle, the universal bottle, which is almost exactly the same as the wonder bottle, and we have two versions of the crazy bottle. And I'm going to attempt to demonstrate these guys. Okay, hope you enjoy it. Thank you. So this is the Anne Verdi long neck bottle. This is more of a comedy effect than anything else. Let's say you're in a situation where you can't reach the person on the other side of the bar and uh, they're holding their glass out and you're trying to get to them. Well, that's when you need a long neck and you take out the long neck and now you can uh, pour the glass across the bar, which is very useful. There are a few other gags in the, in the instructions, but that's, that's the long neck. Beautiful, thank you. This is the uh, turnover bottle. The glass and show the bottle said, hmm, tasty, let's have a look. And you attempt to pour it out, but of course, there's nothing in there. Well, that's a little disappointing. It's a little disappointing, so you, um, the lid back on and see. Hmm, hang on. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe it needs to go on the bottom. Well, let's have a look. Try that out. There we're talking. Cheers. This is the uh, Anverdi Universal bottle, which is almost exactly the same as the Wonder bottle. And uh, you show the bottle, and you're thinking, "Oh, I could, I really could fancy a drink, but I don't want to. I don't want to ruin the glasses. Um, they've all been cleaned. Um, maybe. Oh, well, that's nice. It's useful. Cheers. Hmm. That's nice stuff. Oh, that is really good stuff. Oh, hang on, I've got some friends coming over this evening. Um, oh, I need to, I'm going to need some more wine. Um, maybe I can use here and use this bottle here. Thank you. This is the Anverdi Crazy Bottle. He did a number of variations, and this is uh, one of the variations. Uh, you show the bottle, and you get yourself. You can pour yourself a nice glass at the end of the day, and it comes out. That's pretty frustrating. Hmm. Anyway, let's try, let's try this approach. Just place the glass on top like that, and if we're lucky, oh look, that is perfect, isn't it? Oops, I almost spilled it. Cheers. In fact, we can even, uh, sometimes you're lucky, we need to come back to the same, same place. There you go again. Cheers. Thank you. So here's variation two of the Crazy Bottle by Anverdi. You show the bottle and you say, oh, I fancy a nice drink at the end of the day. Huh, that's strange. What's going on here? Um, oh boy, what is... Maybe it needs to be on this side. Nope. Hmm. You're very strange. I'm really parched. Oh, maybe I need to do this. Do you think that would work? I don't know. Oh, that. Look at that. Now we're talking, aren't we? Yeah, now we are talking. That is perfect. Cheers. Thank you. 